This is James Hurler for IKO TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm in Roseville ABC today just to catch up with two-time British champion and European title champion Lenny Dawes. What's happening, Lenny? All right? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, good to see you, mate. And uh, good. Catch up again. You know what I mean? Indeed, indeed. You was uh, meant to be fighting this weekend on the Blue Water card. That's been postponed due to the injury to the main event, main event candidate in Bob Ajasaf the match in the final. Um, could, any news on the rescheduling for your fight? It's looking, it's, it's to say it has been postponed and it, it's moved to the 8th of November. A um, little bit of a setback, we was, you know, smack on for, for the 4th. Um, but yeah, we've, you know, we've had a few easy days, a couple of days out here and there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're back on it now, looking forward to it and rearranged our sparring and yeah, can't wait till November now. Does it affect your training camp? Obviously you must have been near on peak and just probably just slowing down going into the fight for this day. How does that Im imp impact your training for the next bout? Well yeah, it's, it's just about um, doing the extra rounds as it gets nearer the fight for your sparring and stuff. Uh, yeah, and you say we was getting the 10s and the 12s done and we was just about to ease down <clears throat> when we got the phone call. Uh, so yeah, you sort of take the foot off the gas a little bit, um, look at what we need to do, reschedule it, and yeah, sort of not start from day one again, but you know, come down a little bit and then drive it back up as as it gets nearer the fight again. But yeah, smack on. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, fighting for the EU title. It's a, it's a strap you've had before. Arik Chadley, I hope I pronounced that right. How much do you know about your opponent? Um, yeah, again, we haven't really seen much of him. Um, we know his record. We know he's taller than me. Um, so we're getting talk sparring partners in. And just, yeah, as you say, as the fight turns out, we just suss him out round by round and just work him over as best we can, yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Abraham, Arthur Abraham Paul Smith fight um, on the weekend. Did, did you watch the fight? Yeah, I did, yeah. How, how did you score it from a neutral uh, point of view? You know, it was very close to, to you know, what people watching it and that, but uh, I think, yeah, I think Smith done enough just, just to grab it. Um, the way the scorecards were was terrible. At least this shouldn't happen, you know. Uh, but yeah, he went into the champion's backyard. He put a good performance on, finished strong, and he deserved to, to take the title alone. But, you know, we just have to wait and see what, what happens now for him. But he put in a good performance and he showed he's at that level. Can you empathise with Paul Smith having gone to Italy and been on the, what looked to be the bad end of the decision for some judges' cards in Italy against Michele De Rocco? Can you, can you sympathise and show empathy with Paul Smith? Well, as you say, go, going into different countries, you, you, you know, they, they do tend to side with the home fighter uh, slightly. And you've got, you've got to clearly win. And, and even though you're clearly winning, as you say, when I was in Italy, clearly winning the rounds, and you're just not getting them. What, it's just, what have you got to be doing to, to, to nick the rounds properly, you know, he's putting them over and stuff, which which I did. I still never got, uh, you know, the chance to have it as a knockover to get me in front. I granted it as a slip. So again, that 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 mucked me around a little bit. But yeah, no, he, he I think he put in a brilliant performance, and just uh, unfortunately, yeah, you know, he's got to do it again, and I'm sure he can bring, you know, win it definitely this time. Do you think the right thing would to do sometimes in these situations is grant an immediate rematch where there seems to be controversy, not regarding the fight's performance, but maybe the scoring of a fight? Uh, yeah, again, it's down to the promoters, down to the fighters if they want it again. But if it's been such a good fight, um, a close fight, I think, yeah, it should. I think, you know, the boxers want to do it again, get it on, you know, definitely. It's just, you know, they all, they all want to prove they're world champions and at that level, have it again. And why not, you know what I mean? And do it in a neutral country, or as you say, now they've been out there, they should come here. So, you know, that's, that's definitely how I should, should plan out, I think, yeah. If you got a chance to challenge for a world title and you had to go abroad, would you have a controversy rematch clause put into the contract? Uh, yeah, that's, that's another thing, you know, it all goes on things. Sometimes it, you can't get that, but yeah, you'd have to try, try, because as you say, because you know it's going to be hard going into the champion's backyard, but. Anything's possible, as you say, it takes one shot, you can be clearly winning it, you can spin the fight around, and as you say, you can be lifting that belt, and it's, it's changed your life forever, you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, to just get that rematch in there is, uh, I think it helps, you know what I mean? And you know, should it not fall into place, you've learned that you're at that level, you've learned the fighter, uh, and it'll make you better, and should you get the rematch, yeah, you can, you can take him to pieces and, and get hold of that belt, the title, and 
you know, and that's it, the world's yours then. All right, well listen, I wish you the best of luck for November the 9th. Thanks, James. Well done to Coco5 as well for the continued support for your campaign. No, yeah, yeah thank Coco5, they're behind me, supporting me, uh, doing many things, uh, events and stuff to get me, you know, around, get people following me, which is all good, supply me with plenty of supplements and stuff, drinks, uh, yeah, I can't thank them enough. It's just lovely to have them part of the team now, as you say, and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna only get better for me. Nice one, Coco5, the orange one's the nuts. <laughs> That's it, Jeez. they're all good, mate.